welcome to episode 9 of Building My First Model Railway. Um, this episode is all about stations. Um, the one in front is just about finished now and uh, in position. And uh, I'll show you uh, how I built that in a minute. Uh, and I've also had a bit of a rethink because at the moment, or certainly up until this uh, this week, I only had this station um, planned in, in the yard, which is, uh, which is based on chapel, as I said. And um, I'll show you a quick picture of chapel so you'll get the idea. So I'll do it in an angle um, like that. And then I'll uh, insert a picture of chapel. And you can see it's, it's similar. It's inspired. It's not, uh, it's not an exact replica, but I certainly take, took the, some of the cues from chapel. Um, so, and I'll, and I'll just show you some video shortly of how I, I built that using the old Hornby um, platform and just a, a, a plastic uh, station that sort of looked like chapel. Uh, then I was having to think about where am I going to put a second station. I, I didn't just want to have a loop that goes around to one station and it, you know, I wanted to go to another station. So I was thinking, initially I was thinking of maybe trying to put a station in off this um, good siding that I built. Um, but it's really not that far away from the original station. I swing around it and see it's, it's, it's just there. Uh, uh, and then I was watching uh, Cheeky Tech um video and he was he was, did uh, a fiddle yard underneath his baseboard and, and then turned into an underground station and that got me thinking about the layout and what it's going to do here i was originally going to do a, some sort of brewery sidings just on this area but actually um, as you can see i played around with a bit of board uh, and extended the rail underneath the original baseboard and it squeeze all the junk, but over here, it's gonna be my loco depot. But again, there's a big space underneath. So in sort of future planning and future proofing and wanting to have a fiddle yard, because I'm already fed up of sort of lifting trains on and off my track, I thought that, originally I thought, well, I'll just build that to be a fiddle yard. So I can run underneath there and I can store, you know, some, some of my basic trains under there and then run them out into the main yard and then, Watching Cheeky Tech do his underground station, I was thinking oh, it'd be brilliant to have an underground station there in the future. Um, so that got me thinking that the best place to put a station is actually here. Um, it's going to be a bit tight because I haven't left much room on the board at all for a station. And it, it will help, even though the station will be in front of it, it will help hide sort of the fact that it's a window and a window seal on that behind as well, a little bit to help disguise it. Uh, and then I can have. Uh, a link up to my underground station I can build underneath there. So that's sort of the, the future plans. Um, and I didn't have any, any kit for the underground station, so I thought I would just uh, have a look around and see what I can put together. And I had some polystyrene, which I'll just reach down and get. Um, I had some polystyrene, which I thought, um, when I found it in Pakistan, I thought, well, that could be a good station, so I kept that. Um, and and actually, I, you know, if I'm gonna put it on the end here, it needs to be quite light as well. So I was thinking, if I cut that in, I could slot in there and just sit a bit like that, I'll sit a bit lower, um, and form the station. And then I was wondering what I'm going to do on a, as a station top, and uh, I had these plastic, I don't even know what they are, some sort of edging strip. Um, so I, I thought, actually, they would actually make quite a nice platform top. And they're self adhesive, so it should be quite simple. So, yeah, so that's the plan is to build a little station there. Um, and I'll probably try and build some steps into the station as well, uh, so that it's sort of prepared to go underneath. And then I'll see in the future when eventually I get around to doing the underground bit, then it should link it quite nicely. So, that's my plan really to do two stations. Um, opposite ends of the layout so they can run to each other. So um, I'm gonna get on the building this station. So before I start on the actual station, I just wanted to blend in the back scene to the actual um, railway. Um, and I thought the best thing to use here as opposed to just putting a hedge is to do a dry stone wall again. Uh, this worked quite well on the bridge. So I've done something similar and just wrapped this uh, paper I had around, around the cardboard and then weathered it with some weathering powders and dented it and made it look aged. Uh, and I think it's worked out quite well. So that's my wall now in place. 
I want that scene and some grass and earth and that put up so it runs up to the ballast and that's all bedded in and uh, I think it looked pretty effective really especially from a distance remember we have a station building that in front anyway it was made from standard sections of Hornby uh, platforming all stuck together with one side cut away um, and some Hornby steps on the front and then just some Metcalf card wrapped around. So I had some great fun last night to scratch building this platform. Uh, I'm sorry but I didn't catch any video of me making it. I got so engrossed in actually just making it that I just kept going. Um, but it's pretty basic really. I'll just turn it upside down and you'll see. All it is is that polystyrene I showed you um, with the plastic strip stuck on the top as a platform top and then just some cardboard you can see around there so come back here some cardboard just built up around the front and back edges the hardest thing was putting in the steps um, which eventually will go down to my tube uh, station uh, but I thought I'd cut them in now while I'm sort of while I'm building it much easier to do it now um, so that's uh, the biggest challenge is trying to cut them in particularly in the plastic strips on the top so actually quite thick you can see there so actually getting that cut with a hacksaw uh, and drill a drill was a bit of a challenge uh, and then I thought I'd line it just with brick paper just so um, it's going somewhere and those are the steps that I cut down from the bridge um, so, and then I've just got to put a railing around it. Um, but when you look down, I've just put some black felt in there as well, so it doesn't really go anywhere, but um, so you just don't see a hole. So I want to put a railing around there, but actually, I'd say it's quite thick and quite difficult to cut, but overall wasn't too bad at all. Um, yeah, and then I just used the Metcalf card, I think it's actually for a roof slate here, that I had to test edge. The platform as well all the way along and in my bits and bobs I found this little roof it didn't have any uprights so I used some um, they call them sprigs off the kits to make the uprights and then that will eventually I'll get it to stand right. but that will eventually go there it stood up over typically um, so balance this. there you go Let's see if I can get it to stand on there Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah, so that's on there. And then I've got to put um, a fence all the way around the back, obviously to stop you falling off. Um, and uh, and then just the various details, and that'll be about finished. So all in one evening, so I'm pretty impressed with that, really. Um, the other thing I had to do was obviously make it a lot bigger at the back. So you can see there, that's where the cutout, so that's going to go on the lip of the actual baseboard. And then this bit's going to overhang. Um, to create the room for the actual platform because the baseboard's so um, thin um, and then the steps hopefully will line up to go down to what will eventually be the underground station so yeah I'll, uh, I'll stop now and show you on the track in a little while so I've just about finished my station now um, so if you can see I've got the Metcalf card along the front and I've edged it just with a bit of paper actually. Um, I think I've got the idea of budget model railways, so thanks for that. And I've just done a, it's just a bit of yellow paper and a bit of white paper. I've just had a little guillotine thing and just had to cut a thin strip and put that right along the edge there. So then that's pretty effective. And then for my um, subway, I just printed off a little London underground sign. And this is just a bit of, I think I call it sprig. Um, that I had, so I just cut that round to to make the frame. A little bit of fencing, and then steps going down. If you can see that, and a little man there just for a bit of scale. But yeah, I think that's worked out pretty smart, really. And then the little cover canopy there, um, I painted red. It was a horrible Hornby yellow finish, so I just a bit a bit of red acrylic because it's going to be sort of tube station based, I thought a bit of flash of red. And then I've just put the fence all the way around the outside. Um, I just got from a model shop, local model shop, 
quite like that in the, in the white finish as well. So we'll have to make, weather it eventually and put some more bits on the platform, benches and everything. But I think for, for, um, from building something from scratch, I'm quite pleased with that. So I just need to fit that on the layout now and uh, see how that fits and hopefully it'll sit there quite nicely. So that's the station pretty much finished with everything in place. Um, I don't know if you can see sort of from this angle anyway, you can see it does resemble Chapel Station. I just put a photo of the, the station, particularly back in the 80s when it had the the uh, tank, uh, the fuel tank instead of a, 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 low, a small locomotive, which it's got now. Um, so I've sort of copied that. I now need to obviously do all the roadway in the front. But if you can see there from the front of now, I've got the some signage. Um, if you actually look inside the station, you can see I've done the flooring and there's some benches and I've glued the doors open so you can actually look in. Done the railing all the way around the outside as well. Um, and then I've got some people doing some luggage there. I've got the signage there in black, the chapel and weights come, which is like the original. And then if I just move back around this side, I love the car parking area again, more signage, more people. Um, it, it's slightly different to most railways in that it's actually got the platform sort of um, is facing away from you so you can't actually see the front of it but I've tried my best to make that realistic and if I do a bit of a flyby here you'll hopefully see uh, everyone on the platform. You can see the, the platform front I've done with the Metcalf, all the people, some benches, signage, I've even put a little clock in there, some more benches and people sitting on the bench and then keep going along to the luggage people at the end there and again more signage so um so hopefully you can see from that uh, that, uh, that most of the station's been done certainly to the to the best of my ability just now we'll need to want to put lighting in um, and the next stage is to do all the roadway at the front and connect it to my bridge um, so uh, that'll be the next step and then if I move over to uh, the new station that I built um, on the other side of the layout, and I'll, I'll show you that. Okay, so I've now got uh, my extra station in position. Um, it's just held on with a, just put a couple of brackets, and you can see a couple of brackets underneath just to hold it um, on the edge of the board. Um, but yeah, I think it's looking rather smart. Put a couple of people on there. See some coming up from the underground. Uh, got the white picket fence around it. And then you can see, if I come down lower, you can see the effect I'm looking for with the underground station. So that comes around from the main board. And then we'll go under there, and then I'll build an underground station underneath. And then eventually it'll carry on and go underneath the other board into a fiddle yard. So I'll have a fiddle yard, but then also with a bit of an underground station feature as well. So, um, so yeah, that's the aim. So yeah, I'll just finish off now with some running shots of uh, locomotives going past uh, my new stations. And uh, hope you found this video useful. And uh, and uh, yeah, if you're interested, please subscribe. And hopefully you'll see me again.